Furnace Temporize, Why and How. On all furnace data tags, you will find a section with the air temperature rise parameters. In this particular example, this is a modulating furnace. So we have an air temperature rise parameter for maximum, intermediate, and minimum furnace operation. The temperature rise should be taken for all three, as all three have gas pressure settings that are different from each other. To take the temperature rise on a gas furnace, you want to take the return air temperature close to the return opening on the furnace. We then want to take the supply air temperature downstream of the furnace so we don't pick up radiant heat from the heat exchanger. Taking our return air temperature and our supply air temperature, in this example we have a 70 degree return air and 135 degree discharge air. We take these two numbers and subtract them to get our temperature rise of 65 degrees. So then we go back to our furnace data chart and we find our air temperature rise parameters and our temperature rise was 65 degrees. And so we see that our 65 degrees is at the high end for maximum and minimum and is in the mid range in our intermediate range. If our temperature rise is too low, we need to check our gas pressure or we have too much air circulating in the furnace. If our temperature rise is too high, we once again want to check our gas pressure or we have too little air circulating. Make adjustments to fall in the mid range of the temperature rise specs.